Hey guys, well, today um, I am going to be tackling under the cabinet sink, sorry, I'm gonna pull it back, um, in my kid's bathroom. It's a little messy right now, but um, I need to get it organized. Um, sorry, I'm looking at, I need to look this way, there we go. Um, so, wanted to kind of bring you along with me and kind of show you what I'm doing. Okay, I've already pulled everything out, lots of towels and everything, some toys, my son's little urinal, uh, I'm trying to potty train him, things like that. Um, extra toilet paper and all that. So what I have done is I've pulled everything out. I am painting the inside of this. I've already sprayed it with a, grab it. I've already sprayed it with the Kills Older Odorless Heavy Stain Blocking Without Lingering Odor. Um, oil-based paint um, which actually it, it works pretty well not a huge like real thick finish but um, worked for what I needed I just wanted it cleaned I used to use this as my cat's litter box um, underneath as you can see I have it had it cut out and everything but um, so I wanted to make sure there was no remnants of any kitty smell whatsoever so right now what I'm doing is I'm just painting this inside I'm gonna get it nice and clean and white um, and bright and everything and then I'm going to start um, get some bins organized in here is where extra kids toys are gonna go I want to have um, a bin for the like their extra shampoo some towels um, as well as just you know some bath products so come along with me this is what we're gonna do and then after we do the inside, um, I am going to tackle the outside because this is like this is paint from a previous owner, and um, I just want to give this a nice bright white finish. So come along with me, and I'm going to get this painted. We'll go from there. Okay, so as I've said, I've already put a primer down. Now I'm just filling up my paintbrush. I'm going to come in here. I like to start from the bottom on this. Um, get a nice thick coat I think I may put some stuff on the floor kind of blurry, sorry sorry about the lighting in here it's not the best um, but it's under a cabinet so it's what to be expected um, I think I may put some of that peel and stick tile on the floor. Um, I don't know. Being that it's like a kid's bathroom, I kind of want to do something fun. Um, and my kids are still young. And what's great about that peel and stick tile is you can remove it. So I'm going to get this finished and get that back wall finished. And I'll be back. Thanks. So I got it all nice and painted in here. It's nice, bright white finish. Nice, makes the uh, plumbing and everything look pretty bad. But got that all fixed. Um, I want to get some type of covers or something for the screws. This is where the toilet paper holder is. And then where this box was cut out, um, I want to get like a, um, almost like that, maybe that like rubber molding or something like that. Um, that I can put on and just kind of cut it at like a peel and stick kind or something. Um, there are little tiny nails right here and oops, as I touch it while well, it's still wet. Um, there's still some little uh, nails right there that I don't want any little fingers to touch and I don't want them to, um, you know, snag any of my towels or anything because I've been noticing that these are snagging the towels. Um, I also may for right up, oh, I'm not even showing you, I'm sorry, for right up here, I didn't do the best job. Um, this wall was not primed and you can see there's such a huge difference just because I ran out of the primer from that spray paint, but there's a huge difference between this wall and this wall um, when it comes to not having primer versus having primer, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. It is an under bathroom sink cabinet, so um, I'm not a huge fan. I mean, I'm, I really don't care. Um, but you can see it just doesn't stay on and now I've created an even bigger mess. Okay, so 
what I think I'm going to do is go to the Dollar Tree and see if they have a basket that I can hook these into and then I don't know what I can use maybe some type of like mold or something like that um like something pliable almost like a play-doh type thing that I can kind of put as like a cap or maybe they just make caps I don't know um I'll call my dad he knows everything so I'll ask him about that um I'm not really concerned about the this outer edge or anything because like I said I'm going to be painting this but once this is all dry and the inside is done then I'm going to sand this prime it and then paint it so all right well, the painting portion is portion is done. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna get the fan over here and get it on. Um, okay, so I'm back. I have run out to Target. Um, it's actually the next day, and I don't want to speak too loud because my kids are trying to go to bed. But I picked up these two storage bins. Um, that's the smaller one, and then this is the larger one. If y'all know me, you know I love bins. Um, and this will hold there um, some extra toilet paper, some toys. I do want to minimize the amount of um, bath toys that they have because they're not even playing with them really. But um, that will hold, hold that. And this will hold some like, extra shampoo and um, like their stuff that they need, like extra toothbrushes and toothpaste and um, like detangler spray, some extra hair elastics, um, and probably some baby wipes. Um, and so the way, unfortunately, the way my cabinet is set up, if you can see, the plumbing is so close that you can't really fit these in as well as I'd like. Um, but that will have to do. That's not really a whole lot of space. I'll figure it out. I think this may go in the back. This is the thing about organizing is. It's just a lot of, you know, trial and error. So like this would fit, but the knob is in the way. And I don't know if I turn that knob, am I turning the water off? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see, but it fits that way. I mean, I don't, really don't want the kids to have as much access to, you know, extra toothpaste and um, things like that anyway, so. I'm happy with it being back there. I just need to see if I turn the water off. Let me check. Nope. Nope. That worked good. Okay, so we got those in. And then a lot of their towels, I've been washing them and such, so. Um, we've got some extra towels for them right there. I picked up a new, um, toothbrush holder. What they've been using, because I just thought it was cute, was when went to Destin um, down in Florida, just on a little bucket. Actually, it housed an alcohol drink. Um, so they've been using that, but I thought this would be really cute to use instead. Um, and what I like about it is I can take the top off and it's washable. The one I have is just like a hole or like, you know, it's porcelain with like holes on top and you can't take it off. Um, which is a big pain when it comes to cleaning. This is training toothpaste, which we don't actually need anymore. These are just, I think, little samples from the dentist, but they're pretty much gone. So I'll hold on to those for when we travel, but I got them a new one, so this will go up top. We'll get to that later. And then this I'll wash out and save it for painting or whatever. Um, but their toothbrushes are still good, so I did pick up some extra toothbrushes. So that will go in there, along with some shampoo. And over here, I'm going to put some extra toilet paper. And then, I don't really want a lot in there. So I'm actually happy with it being minimal. And then what I have left to do, I'm going to put together, oh, here's some extra shampoo. 
Um, and then I'm going to go through their toys and put their toys right in here as well, some extra ones. Um, I have like extra bins and such, but I can, you know, save these for something else. I'm um, in my bathroom, so I've got a double vanity. So, so far I think it's looking pretty good. Like I said, again, I don't want a ton of stuff in here. I like it minimal. Um, and then I'm eventually going to paint this. I'll probably do that this weekend. I just got to figure out what color I want to paint it. But I will show you. I got this super cute bath um, curtain. And so I thought, you know, a beachy theme or such will be fun. And this kind of plays with having a boy and a girl. So I'm going to hang this and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. Okay, so here is the finished product underneath the um, sink. So I've actually changed things up a little bit. I didn't want any toys um, in case they were wet to be in the same bin as the toilet paper. So um, I have just toys here and then there are extra products back there like their little cups for brushing their teeth, some extra toothbrushes, some shampoo and um, bath soap, things like that. My son's little urinal, um, that's not urine on there, that's actually splattered water, he hasn't used it yet. Um, and some towels, all the rest of them I have, they are drying right now, they're getting cleaned. Um, and then I put the toilet paper right back there in the corner, so I think for a kid's bathroom, minimal, looks good. And then um, once it's all done, I'm going to just clean up the shelf and everything I'm sitting on the floor. Um, I'm going to clean it up and then I'll show you how it looks, finished product. Okay, so here is the final bathroom. Um, didn't do a ton, but you know, made it a little bit better than what it was before. Um, got a new shower curtain, which I just love for little kids. I think this is great. Um, we actually got towels for Christmas. Um, they look kind of purple on this light, but they're not. They're like a dark blue, but they match fairly well with the blue in here, so I think it's okay. And then, um, just some extra hooks where my, you know, my kids, um, towels that they are using for bath time and such. Um, I like to not have a lot of stuff on the floors or anything like that, so, um, in here, obviously, wipes, but I usually keep all of the kids' um, uh, little face washes and, you know, little, like, hand towels and such that they use for bath time in there, but I'm washing all of them right now, so I can just put this right in here. Otherwise, I'd probably just, sorry, put this right up here, which I can go ahead and do now, because there's no point to leave it. So one thing that I have found when it comes to a bathroom for little kids, um, less is more. I don't want my kids, you know, kids do crazy things and I honestly don't want to turn around and they get into everything. So I find when it comes to little kids, less is more. Don't have a lot out and it will save you a lot of time. The only thing I have out right now is their um, toothpaste with their um, you know, little toothbrushes and whatnot. I just threw out the soap, so I need to get a new little thing of hand soap. Um, we have a towel, and behind the door we've got our little hooks with um, their little, you know, robe towels that they have. And then down here is what we painted, or I should say I, uh, painted and just got all their extra little things. Again, keep it clean, keep it organized. And that's it. The next thing I'm going to do to this bathroom is um, I do plan on painting this. I'm tempted to do it like a fun color, but then again, I'm tempted to just do it like a nice white. Let me down in the comments what color you think I should paint the cabinet because I don't know. I'm thinking bright white, but we'll see. What do you think? Okay, other than that, this is the kids' bathroom. Oh, one thing I can show you, I was just going to a long time ago, was, um, you see like Mickey and Minnie and Goofy and well, Goofy's over there, um, the Daisy Doll and all that. I got those wall decals 
um, and I believe I got them from Target, but um, they were extra that I didn't use in my daughter's bathroom, I mean, in her bedroom when she was an infant. And so I put them in here and honestly, they have been up for almost four years now. And water has not gotten underneath them. They work great. Um, and my kids love them. And I've actually had a few on the other side of the tub. So when they were in the tub, they could see it. My husband didn't even know they were there. But I peeled those off. Um, but they come off super easy. And this is just one of those like fiberglass, like prefab tubs um, from shower sets. And they peel right off and they don't ruin it. So other than that, well, I appreciate you guys coming along with me as I've tried to make a little bit of update to my kids' bathroom. I'm excited to see their reaction when they see their new little shower curtain. I think they'll like it a lot. So other than that, um, please like my video and take care. Bye.